I mean, there's there's a lot of different groups working in this space. So, for example, there's there's criminal groups that we would say are not organized. They're just kind of experimenting and they're just trying to get quick cash or whatever, or they're just learning into the systems. So, I, I would classify it into kind of unorganized groups or individuals that are trying to just start mm. doing something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then organized crime groups that are either new or are older and well-established. The older well-established groups normally have ties to things like drugs, um, uh, human trafficking. They've already been doing different types of crime and they're adding cybercrime to their portfolio, right? Because they want to diversify in case one, one mm -hmm. revenue stream goes down basically. So they work like businesses, really. Um, and then there's um, essentially government and nation state actors mm -hmm. as well. So uh, most governments now, I would say, at least are, are having the idea of a cyber military or some sort of um, ability to, to do military operations in cyberspace. And that is really difficult to discern between crime and like military practice. So there's a lot of different groups in the space.